It's Shay and Sam from Parents Guide to the World. Recently, we got to experience something that all of you need to experience. We got to go to a paint splatter room that also is a rage room. It's right in New Hampshire, and it's definitely awesome. It's called the Rage Cage. The paint room was so cool, and every crafting mother's literal godsend, so to speak. They do give every person in there a canvas. The main attraction of the paint room is that you can make it as messy or as clean as you want. So if you want to have a huge paint war with your entire family, which we did, and we will show some of that footage as well. We made a huge mess, and we did do the canvas as well, which looked really nice. We actually have them right above our TV stand still downstairs. And the best part, zero cleanup <laughs> on any parent's part. You can just make the biggest mess ever, and they have all of it covered for you. You can even actually buy jumpsuits from them if you don't want to bring your own clothes in. And that way you don't have to worry about destroying your own clothes either. I think they even had jumpsuits you could just rent too. So they had some you could buy. Um, we brought our own shirts and then we purposely left them in a bag to try to stain them. So that we would end up with like this weird tie-dye thing. They do use paint that's supposed to be, um, you know, water soluble and isn't supposed to stain clothes. So we did leave these in the bag covered in paint for a long period of time. So theoretically it should have washed out, but I would also not wear your favorite pair of clothes or your favorite Nikes or something. You want to wear stuff that if you uh, do happen to ruin it, you're okay with it. Because in the end, you're going to be throwing paint at each other, you're going to be squirting paint at each other, you're going to be wiping paint at each other with paint brushes, there's going to be glitter involved and everything. And really, you may not even want to throw that stuff in your washing machine um, by the time you're done with it. So we actually recommend probably picking up some just cheap white shirts or um, have some junk clothes ready to go. That way you don't have to worry about it. You can get your music ready, so definitely make sure you have like a phone or music player. You can put that on there. They got a speaker system set up in there. The whole place is like crazy, crazy messy. So. You don't have to like worry about getting it messy and they've even been expanding it to have more things. So now they have like a paint squirt gun type thing that, that they're testing out and adults can use and they're working on that for kids. And then they have like glow paint so that you can actually, you know, have that, that glow paint experience with the black lights and everything. And then uh, one of the funniest ones is just the cotton balls covered in the paint and glitter, just chucking those at each other was fun. At each other was fun. And of course, uh, you know, having like little duels with the uh, paintbrushes. What's included with the price, which normally is $20 per person, so it's very reasonable, that comes with, I want to say, was it five different paint colors for I, each person? I think so, and keep in mind, these might change, and also, if you have a paint room, check with them, because your paint room might be different. Right, but this one, particular one, came with five. Now, you do have the ability to actually purchase additional colors if you feel like it, and then the cotton balls that Shay was mentioning with the uh, paint and the glitter in it, that's also an add-on. Uh, we definitely got a couple of different colors of that, though, and it was super fun. I will say, after we left the paint room and went out to dinner, there was a lot of paint in our hair still, our faces, a lot of glitter. So be prepared to bring a change of clothing. Now, the crazy thing is we did travel a ways to go to New Hampshire for this, so a couple hours. And like she said, we were covered in paint, but we ended up going into a craft store and nobody even <laughs> thought we looked weird. And we were like covered in paint. So it is uh, kind of hilarious that, that depending on where you go, the Chick-fil-A across the street, I think everyone was looking funny at us. But when we went to the Hobby Lobby or whatever craft store it was, we blended right in with all the artists and, and whatnot in there. Um, and, you know, you do want to do a couple things to kind of keep in mind is the paint will go really quick if you just start squirting it out at everyone. So, you know, be a little reasonable with it, kind of take your time enjoying a little bit of the paint stuff as well as kind of getting in fights with it. Um, that's definitely would be my recommendation with it. Um, and you definitely do not want to take your goggles off. Like, even if this paint is not something that is gonna really cause you harm, you do not want to get it in your eyes and all that, deal with it, dealing with it. Clean up afterwards is like a mess, so you're gonna have like lots of paper towels and everything like that, so if you can, plan on taking a shower afterwards and not having to go out to dinner like we did, <laughs> probably beneficial for you, but we live farther away. The great thing is too, is this is for all ages. So anybody in your family could be, I don't know if I'd say an infant maybe, but a toddler, definitely. Um, all the way through your teenagers and heck, you could even bring grandma if you wanted. I think she'd get a kick out of that. We had a blast with that. They recently started doing birthday parties there as well. They now have a mobile paint room that he runs out for specific events, birthday parties. They're really reasonably priced. As far as the pricing as of making this video, it was $20 per person for the paint room, $25 per person for a glow room, and then $40 for the rage room. We got an hour, right, for that $40? Yep, it was one hour. You do need to make sure that you set up appointments to go to the paint room or the rage room. They're not just walk-ins. Um, they do have some limited hours. 
Um, obviously, larger groups can be accepted in certain situations, but if you have like a really big group, you might not be able to all fit in one rage room. Um, so definitely call ahead of time to check it out. And if you have another one in your area, check with them too, because obviously the rules are going to change from state to state and rage room and paint room and everything. Check out that sizzle reel that we have about the paint room. It's just like our attempt at like kind of a little crazy music video about it.